You know, it's a nice day today. It's a pretty nice day. On YouTube it's nice, you know. I might as well just check the old monetization and see how that's going. Hi. Uh, just, I'm just, I'm just gonna butt in here. Um, yeah, uh, you, you might want to read this. Wait, what, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, you, you kind of just lose all the things that you had previously. I mean, we're, we're just trying to make changes. That's all. That's all. Oh, fuck you, man. So, as you guys have probably heard, there are going to be some changes coming to YouTube. Now, I found out about this via email. I, you know, just woke up and I was already having a crappy day. But I woke up and I checked my emails and I got this. Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel Icewire is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features with the YouTube Partner Program on February 20th, 2018, unless you surpass the threshold in the next 30 days. Hoobly. So you're probably seeing this on Twitter and on YouTube, but there are a lot of people that are very upset about this right now. And I wanted to chime in with my own thoughts on it because I do have some, and I want to also point out some uh, points that others have made that I agree with. But first off, we're going to start with my own points because that's what you're here for. You want to hear what I fucking think about this. So let's do that. Well. I'm on two different sides. I'm sort of on one side and on the other. On one side, it fucking sucks. I just feel like the YouTube taking away people's choice to monetize their videos is... Especially smaller creators. This is hitting, like, baby YouTubers, basically. It's hitting the baby YouTubers. Um, like, taking their ability to... Well, taking away their ability to monetize their uh, stuff is kind of... And, I don't think it's necessarily fair. Also, I have seen some people that have been uh, kind of rude online to some people that are upset about the monetization losses and, you know, saying, oh, you just want it for money. But one, everyone does YouTube for their own reasons. You shouldn't only just do YouTube for, you know, the sake of money. You should do it because you like it. But you shouldn't be a dick to someone if they want to make money from it, you know? Like, it, it's their decision if they want to or not. You don't have to like it, but you also don't have to be a dick. I got bit here. It's really itchy. Two, I know some people have been commenting uh, this on larger uh, channels, uh, like, statements about this on Twitter, and one of those channels in particular was Deligracy. Now, Deligracy is a Sims channel, uh, and she has like 500k subscribers, so she's like halfway to a million. And she tweeted about this, and a lot of people were calling her a hypocrite for saying, that, oh, she only cares about the money. But a lot of you viewers have to understand that when you hit that point, when you hit that point in your YouTube walk of life, per se, then it's your livelihood at that rate. You know, once you hit that level, then it's not just about your hobby, it's about your monthly income that you get, you know? It's it's your job, basically. It's your job. So if you ever see, like, the bigger YouTubers talking about that, just keep that in mind that this is their livelihood, you know? And they understand that from a business point of view, that, you know, getting the monetization taken away can suck. However, on the topic of monetization, I'm just gonna be real with you. What were we earning? Seriously? I do know that people do like it, even if they do, you know, just get that one dollar, that it can mean a lot to them, because, you know, it's it's something. And I understand that. So, you know, it, it really just depends on, like, personal opinion. Now, aside from the monetization stuff, there is going to be some other things that will be going away, like end cards. We won't be able to use end cards anymore. So... That's gonna suck. Hey guys, Editing Ice here. Just jumping in to say that 
we're not gonna be losing everything that we think we are. I just found a tweet from YouTube saying the following, creative features like live streams, custom URLs, scheduled uploads, and many more are not going away with the YouTube partner program update. So the things that we will not be losing are end cards. So those that currently have access to end cards will continue to have access even though we're no longer in the YouTube partner program. We can still use the creator studio, Custom URLs are still fine. We're not going to lose our custom URLs. We're not going to lose our custom thumbnails. We just need to verify our account by phone. I just did this before. All creators can use end screens. However, linking to external websites from end screens is a feature that is currently only available to YouTube partner program members. When YPP eligibility requirements are updated on February 20th, 2018, channels that currently have access to these features will continue to have access even if they are no longer in YPP. Live streaming, we're still going to be able to do that. We just need to confirm that our channel is verified and that we have no live stream restrictions in the last 90 days. Scheduling uploads, fine. YouTube analytics, fine. The only things that are going to be affected by the YPP thing uh, super chat and sponsorships that and the whole monetization thing so no worries we're fine everything is fine we're just losing our muns one little ones we're losing the one dollar that we make anyway carry on ice I know roughly the reason YouTube is doing this is because they get so many like requests for manual reviews in regards to the whole demonetization thing which is another shit fest entirely that in order to try and keep up with it the you know sort of cutting down what can be manually requested if you get what i mean i think that and there's the whole logan paul thing bag of dicks that guy so overall that's really my opinion on this and now i just want to jump into just a few opinions that i've seen on the internet uh one is the deliberacy one that i mentioned earlier that I do want to chime in on. But first we're just going to jump into some other things that I either agree or disagree with. So let's have a look. So first up we have Deligracy's comment. Which she said the following. Don't do YouTube slash Twitch to make money. Do it as a creative outlet and because it makes you genuinely happy. That's the way you get through the grind. Some people got kind of upset with her over so she then followed up with the next tweet. And for those saying I'm a hypocrite, it's different when it has become your livelihood. This advice is for up and coming YouTubers, which I agree with wholeheartedly. Like, it's cool if you want to make money from YouTube, like, but you should also do it as long as, like, it's something you genuinely want to do. Like, not for money, but it's something that you like doing. Because if you don't like doing it and you're just after money, you're not going to get very far. Both with making content and just general happiness with what you're doing. And as for her last statement about people calling her a hypocrite, she is dead right. If, when it becomes your livelihood, once you hit that level that I was talking about before, then it's a lot different. Because that's your income, you know? If you're doing this full time, then that is your income. That's a siren. So if you are, you know, considering doing YouTube or you just like to keep up with the whole YouTube drama shit, then keep that in mind. Next up we have a thread involving PewDiePie talking to Kimstar. I know, love that guy. Solid guy. So a smaller YouTuber asked PewDiePie this. Even if a small YouTuber gets $1 for a month, it will still feel rewarding for them like they are achieving something. Okay, that, that it wasn't a question, it was just like a blanket statement. Which PewDiePie replied with the following. Just to be clear, I didn't earn anything off YouTube, not a single dollar until I hit 25k subs. If all you're earning is one dollar, then YouTube probably is losing more money just to pay that to you. As much as I typically hate their business practice, this one makes sense to me. Someone else replied, so do you believe small YouTubers should quit because there's no chance for them to make a full-time living out of it? Just curious. YouTube is not as great as a job that a lot of people seem to think it is, especially for smaller channels. I get that. This should just encourage channels to hit that goal so they can actually bring in decent revenue instead of complaining about losing a couple of dollars. Which I honestly cannot agree more. Whatever your stance is on Felix in general, I agree with him wholeheartedly. I feel like for me, making my own shit, uh, this just, this may be a slight bump in the road, but 
at the same time, it's also going to encourage me to work harder and hit that goal that's required. And you bet your ass I'm going to fucking try it. Instead of being down in the dumps about it, we should try to strive and work for that goal, you know? We should try and hit those requirements and just, like, punch it in the frickin' face and say, hey, fuck you, YouTube, we made it. Fuck you. I feel like if you want to give a big ol' fuck you to YouTube as a small creator for taking away, like, your YouTube partnership or whatever, prove them wrong. Work your ass off and try and hit that um, requirement level now. So yeah, those are just my overall thoughts on the situation. I'd like to hear what you think down in the comments below. I hope you found this video somewhat interesting. Um, it's very early in the morning for me, so excuse me if I sound a jumbled at all in this video. I'm still waking up. <laughs> if you do want to support the channel, please do check out my Patreon. A uh, link to it is down in the description below. That fuels all of the content that you guys see here, like for example the webcam, and the variety and production of said content that you guys get to see on the channel throughout the year and beyond. And as always, it's Icewire signing off, and I'll see you in two bits later next time on the channel. Have a lovely day, slash now wherever you are in the world. Bye!